Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are on the Isle of Septar, on the southwestern corner of F13, building a pirate's garrison, a medium sized base for a small group of pirates. This build is completely mod free, so without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with, of course, the base plate. This is quite a simple base plate design, and you can see the blueprint on screen now. Again, this is really quite simple. But it sets out a simple foundation for the build that will allow for a design that should look pretty interesting once the walls are built up. Once I'd finished the base plate, I then built southwards to create a bridge linking the first platform to the second. I used ceilings and pillars to gauge the gap and then replace them with bridge tiles as I've shown before in my building tips series. I then built walls onto the base plate to form the basement. I'll be sectioning off a portion of the rear of the basement for, well, the basement itself. Otherwise, I think the basement will end up being a bit too large. From there, I then place ceilings to cover the non-accessible sections of the basement. And above the accessible section, I then raise the walls by another tile, so the basement would be a total of two tiles high. Once I'd raised the walls, I then capped them off with ceilings and built the walls on the sides two tiles high. Next, I placed down some windows and built the walls on the ray section, again two tiles high. I also placed a pillar in the centre of the floor to support the ceilings above, and then built two tile high walls at the front of the build. Next, I built the stairs up to the first floor, and then built the ceilings to cap off the walls. I then built a small balcony onto the rear tower, and then built the walls up. I included two more small balconies on the eastern and western facing sides, and then separated the floor into three rooms. I built the walls of the tower three tiles high, two tiles high on the central room, and then one tile high on the western room. I also then built the stairs up to the tower and covered it with ceilings, though I would later in the furnishing phase raise the tower by one more tile. Finally, it was time for the roof. As you can probably already tell, I'll be doing multiple smaller roofs, and of course I'll be using flots and pieces. I had quite a bit of internal debate with myself about how exactly I should do this roof, and in the end I decided to build gables onto this roof to sort of imitate the look of a pirate ship. Now, usually I wouldn't put gables onto rounded walls like this, but it works really nicely for this concept. It was a fairly simple affair for all the roofs, I just took them one at a time, following the flow for each roof size and shape. I didn't really encounter any issues during the roof building, which is always a great thing, and I did try to avoid flowing the roofs into each other. Instead, I tried to keep them somewhat separated, so that it creates the more complex look I was going for. Once the roof was done, I then fenced off the tower and added some awnings around the build.
finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the garrison, I've decorated the bridge area a little bit, and I've lit the approach with Kitan braziers. Entering the garrison, I've made a couple of changes by including door frames as windows on the second tile around the build. I've decorated this ground floor area as a sort of tavern space, as we all know that pirates love nothing more than a good drink. On the lowered section, I've included a small seating area, along with a more private room, and even a small entertainment room with its own stage. Maybe these pirates just love a bit of karaoke. On the race platform, this is sort of the main tavern area. This garrison is for a small group of pirates, so it's not that densely packed with tables and chairs, but it does the job for being able to serve food and drink to thirsty pirates. Heading downstairs, the basement is the core of the build, and it's where all the hard work is undertaken. There are workbenches of all different disciplines, used regularly to ensure the garrison is maintained and fortified, along with fixing up the armour and weaponry of the pirates stationed here. Heading upstairs, we reach the first floor. There are two small balconies adjacent to the tower that provide some very nice views across the open seas. Heading into the central room, this is sort of a meeting room, where the pirates can meet and discuss important matters. It's very simple, but it works quite nicely. Next door is the bedroom. Given that the garrison does need to be guarded at all times from any local ne'er-do-wells, the small amount of beds here allow the lucky pirates not on guard duty to get some valuable sleep. The bedroom is also connected to another small balcony facing west. Finally, the top of the tower sits high above the coast below, and offers some very impressive views. And there we have it, a pirate's garrison on the Isle of Siptar in Map Square F13. 
Thanks for watching, update 2.5 dropped yesterday so all my mods are currently out of date, and that's something that always throws me off a bit. However, I think I managed to make this build work really nicely, even without all of the fancy pirate related mods I'd usually use in a build like this. As always, you'll find all the links to my Twitch, Discord, Twitter, Patreon and NordVPN discounts in the description below, along with credit for the music used in this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, I put out at least two videos a week, so there's always plenty of content to come. If you have any suggestions for future builds, I would love to hear them in the comments below. As always, a massive thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Blue Ivy, Velma, Torn, Eagle Rose, and Meryl224. Again, thank you very much for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.